get tired, I let you order me. Turn up for that check, and yeah, I get it out the streets. Also, like I'm starving, going hard, I gotta eat. I get it out the mud. Look out now, look out. Boy, bro, y'all the man. I'm over here in uh, Gyro Delta. Oh, yeah. Finna pick up a load going to far Texas, man. Gotta be there at the morning, man. A little easy money. Wish I had something coming back. I hope I do. Shit. Guess they sending this stuff all across the border, Mexico. So, stay tuned. Let me get loaded, man. Whoa, whoa. Man, your boy did a good job on the truck yesterday, man. Me and my little boy. Son, we cleaned it up good, man. But look here. This is what I'm picking up, man. Going offshore in Mexico, man. But I'm bringing it to far Texas, man. That's how far it's going. Strapped it down easy money. One, two, three, four, five straps. Let's ride. About a 300 mile run. What's happening, man? Leaving out. It's five o'clock traffic, man. Houston traffic, man. But I'ma go on cruise on up there the far. Chill. We got the Monday night football on, so listen to some football, relax, pull over, eat my salad, my dinner. Just take my time, man. Ain't no big rush. It wasn't worth me going back home, though, man. Burning diesel, going the other way. Had to come right back out in two, three hours. I'm just gonna cruise, take my little time, get out. Walk around the trail a little bit. Burn some time. I'm gonna burn a little time going through this traffic anyway, man. I'm almost out of it. Probably got another few miles for it to open up. It's just city life, man. Everybody <laughs> want something? Come on down to Houston, man. It's just too many people, man. And it's just moderate. It's bad, but whew, it get bad, man. Stay tuned. Leave, never leave, counting up this money, we ain't never sleep, never sleep. You got V12, I got 12 V's, got bottles, got weed, got my, my, I'm all the way Shorty, up. what you want, I got what you need, me, shorty, what you What y'all say about it, fella? It's your boy, bro, Yoda, man. And wake up out here in Far Texas, man, by the Keystone, cold storage, all these foreign companies out here in Far Texas, man. Your boy done made it, get him a good ass. Good four, five hour nap. Ready to rock and roll with it for the people. Open the gate, man. The barn already knocked off three of these straps. Just got enough to turn in. It's raining out here, so look here. We'll pop these two straps. Let him come on get this stuff off of me, sign it. Nine out of ten, ain't nothing going back. I can get on out this rain, get on back, and watch and see who's gonna be our next president, man. Oh, shit. Damn it, boy. But hey, look here. Somebody got a bid, I guess, huh? Have to bid. So, stay tuned. This is your boy, Bro Yoda, man. Coming to you live, man. Peace out. Coming through the border checkpoint, man. Got money on my back. Flag all you want. Keep left to stay on US 281 North. Got some people under the, uh, Trailer, man. Hey, we'll get you, man. For the checkpoint, hey, man. Continue on US 281 North for 11 oh, miles. Right, citizen. Yeah. Look at that. Some of the people they looking for right there. Yeah, no Pablo Escobar, man. He probably won there. Yeah. In 800 feet, turn left. Stay tuned. Look out, this your boy. Oh, yeah, man, Ken Fogg done loaded up some, he told me some $20 million tools, man. Stuff never been in the ground, been sitting up for two years.
Man, 20 million, baby, on the back. Make sure it's strapped down tight. Oh, yeah. I'm going to take this up the road, and I got some stuff going all the way to Waxahachie, Texas. Peace out. Your boy, bro, Yoda. Out. Pull up to my little destination. Be my first time coming to this shop, man. So I gotta watch for them all. Um, Quick 6702. So it's in here somewhere. About to turn in here, good man. Man, that's a tight turn now, man. 6702. Stays that way. We got a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing they can do about this election. Donald Trump won the presidency fair and square. He outworked Hillary. He outgunned her. Plain and simple. But the people that are out there protesting in the streets, it's because they're scared because of the rhetoric that he spewed, which is why I think he did what he did today in terms of being complimentary about President Obama, in terms of the two getting along and doing what they need to do to make sure for a fluid and healthy transition for the good of the nation. Will the NBA capitulate as well? It remains to be seen. Because what you have going on right now is fear and disdain emanating from various angles. And Donald Trump's going to have to clean that up before he takes office. Not just once he gets there. One would think that the NBA and the NFL and sports leagues could actually help in that regard. I suspect, however, initially they won't. But make no mistake about it, eventually they'll graduate to that point. Because if you think for one second in these major professional sports leagues that everybody couldn't stand Trump, you're living in fantasy land. I told y'all a long time ago there are people who aren't saying anything and never will because their intent all along was to keep their mouths shut, to avoid being labeled themselves. And they were simply going to go to the voting booth, close that curtain, and vote for him anyway. They wouldn't say anything before they walked in. They wouldn't say anything when they walked out. They just knew that the numbers would reflect their support. And it did. And I'm not talking about popular, because I know she won a popular, maybe by a few hundred. But they knew where the electoral college votes were. He won fair and square. This country prides itself on smooth transitions. It's not just the American citizen that needs to recognize that. It even applies to citizens like Stan Van Gundy and Steve Kerr too. No matter how right they are, and they are right. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Triple A Mad Dogs is the fellas. number to call up. That's 888 Oh, boy. Morning, fellas. Morning, fellas. Man, good Saturday morning. I was going to wake up, wash the truck, go get the trailer, pressure, wash it off and everything, man. But guess what? The finally factory battery done died out on me, man. The other one's still good, though. I changed one a while back, so I'm having problems. So guess what? Now I got to um, go change this out, man. I'm on my way. Another 200 bucks, man. 
Hey, man, that's all we do is spend money in this game, man. Spend money. That's why you got to run hard to make something, man. Stay tuned, man. Well, 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 man, I'm back. I got a fresh new battery. And you know you're always going to miss a tool. I didn't have a socket with an extension, man, just to get down here for the this clamp, man. Had the socket, but not the extension and a, a one-fourth ratchet, man. My last one-fourth ratchet stripped out, so I always, if you know, register with Harbor Freight, man. Went to Harbor Freight. Got all the, all the extensions now, so hey, man, you know you're going to work on your stuff. I will buy everything you need, so hey, God love, what they say, God love those that have his own, so got my tools now. I Gonna hook it back up, man. Crank it back up, get ready to hit this road, man. Stay tuned. Well, fellas, I got everything together. Let's see what it do. Y'all gonna be watching it with me. Oh, we back to normal. Oh, yeah. Check the gauges. Light it idle up, charge up that other battery around, throw a sail, fuel, almost time to do a fuel filter, 18%. That's battery voltage. Yeah, that sucker showing real good. Real good. 14. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I think the other day I looked at it, it was 13, man, so it was on its way out, man. Let me go get some depth fluid before I get a load. That's all it is to it, fellas. $260 later, but I'm back running. Like I say, boy, just in a week's time, I changed out this member, this hose. Now I changed out the battery. I like these covers, man, when they get cold. Brand new battery, you got a five year warranty, man. So they all match it now. This one still got four years left. This one's fresh for five years. So we good, man. Check all the fluids. Let's get back on it, bro. Your die, man. Look out now. You bought and fixed the battery and everything. Now I'm loading out here at drilling tools, man. Gonna head here into Holly Burton, man. Pick up something going to Patterson 247. I don't know where it's at yet. My bet is in West Texas, man, but we're gonna find out. Stay tuned. Yo, this is what I got, man. Two subs, a few pony collars, some stabilizers. I gotta head over there to uh, Holly Burton. Probably gonna pick up some motors. Stay tuned. Get my paperwork, we out. I picked up at Holly Burton. I just came up and picked up a crate. Crate in a box, man. Everything else going on a big truck, man. Once again, me and my boy Roy starting up a rig. Peace out. This is how the oil field do it, baby. They ride clean, man. They ride clean, man. That's how we do it in this oil field, man. My boy Roy. Picking up the shack, putting it down, baby. We starting up rigs. And my boy Roy, this how he roll, man. Peterbilt style, man. What's up, Roy? Roy Vela, man. What's up? Ram Roy Finest, man. That's how we ride, man. 13 speed. 18. Look that. Oh, 18? Look that boy. Big face. Feet are built. Got them tamales right here. Going that on. boy riding with tamales, man. Hey, so I know when you say pull over, what you got to go do? <laughs> <laughs> it's my boy Roy, man. We be rolling. Peace out. Waiting on the paperwork. Down that road, man. Riding the big truck. We rolling, man. Here in the Fall City, Texas, man. Corns County, South Texas, Eagle Ford Shell, man. They trying to pump it back up, man. Going to the same area we went to last. Man, we pulling up in here, man. They gave us the wrong directions. The 
Now they gave us the wrong directions, man. Instead of Collins County, it was in Gillette, Texas, man. So we added extra miles. We're gonna build them. Just it's 10:30 at night. <laughs> Started my day at one o'clock, man. Crazy. Already 10 hours. Part of the game, man. Part of the game. Hope it don't take forever to get unloaded, man.